Hey, people. I'm fixing to bust every Nephilim myth there ever was. I'm going to start this movie up by ripping on somebody. I had a comment on a, another platform on one of my Nephilim movies. And I don't remember what he said. But uh, I, I let him know that you have no idea what you're talking about. And he told me that he done wrote eight books on Nephilim. And he knows. And I'm thinking, God, I hope nobody's read them. You know, it only says the word three times in the Bible. How's he going to get eight books out of that? And so he left a link uh, to one of his videos. And I watched it. was over an hour and something. He was arguing with a preacher or something. I didn't want to hear what the preacher had to say. I didn't heard all that. And so I fast-forwarded through the preacher, and I just listened to what this guy had to say, and he had zero, he had nothing to say. He couldn't add anything to the conversation. So no, Nephilim does not mean giant. It means more of many. So this genius that done wrote eight books is less intelligent than any of my viewers. And the word's actually different the three times it comes up. But I'm going to start with this other word here that comes up twice right here in these lines. The sons of God. And, you know, that's wrong too. And you see it up here in the second line. You know, and came to pass when began men to multiply on the face of the earth. And the daughters were born to them. There's your clue right there. Men began to multiply on the face of the earth. And... Then that saw the sons of God, but this isn't the sons of God. This is Benny. This is the son, and this is God's. The I am, they say, is plural. If we go with what they say, you know, the the Benny of the Halahim, the, the plural, the son of God's. And it comes up the same way down here in the fourth line. You know, the Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also after that, when came in the Benny, the son of the gods. It's just one son of the gods. So this looks like this in Genesis 6. It's this first paragraph. They got it busted into four lines. And so I'm going to start on this fourth line because that's what everybody's interested in. But just remember, it's out of context till we go back and read the top here. So they say the first Bible looked like this, you know. It's just letters with no vowel points or directional markings. So we should be able to read it the first time with just the letters. So this starts with the E N N F L Y N Fly Me in J U V A R S N Fly Me Juvers. And so a fly juver, a juver is an ancient name for a juvenile. You know, and in fly juvers means maggots. You know, the fly lays an egg, it hatches, in all its juvenile life, it's a maggot. And it turns into a poopa, and then a fly. In fly me juvers, you know, in bunch of maggots. So, it's far from giants. Maggots are the tiny babies of flies, you know. And uh, you can see that here, this word E-N in the Greek, you know, they say it's I-N-N. And the same as today, it means the cycle and so it's the time of when the flies from the jew you know me from the juvers from in the juvenile cycle of flies a bunch of maggots is what it says by mime m-i-m-e mime you know is you know i be memeing them by mime and then m UG, the image of a hurricane. You know, the to picture the image of a hurricane, a swarm of maggots is what it says. In fly from the juvie by mime me image, by mime image um, You know, what you picture in your head, the image of a hurricane. As rive, R I V A V, as rive of, came in, when came in, as, you know, as arrived. When you're reading it with all the markings, you'll see it more plainly, but, you know, has arrived is what it's saying, when came in. In a, in a hurricane, 
has arrived. And so flies eat dead meat, you know. They don't eat live meat, they eat dead meat. So what it's talking about is there's been a war or famine and there's many, many dead people. And so, you know, if you watch um, them investigator movies, they'll teach you how they'll get time of deaths by the stage of the maggot. They know how long it takes to go through certain stages and they can pinpoint the time of death pretty accurately. And so that's what it's trying to tell you is that stage of death, how long it's been. And so this sons of God, you know, this is Ben, and it means in the time of, and Ben Halem, you know, in the time that that was the king, in the time that the Magus were king, Lord of the Flies, Ben Halem. So this is the English spelling of the pronunciation of Ben Aliam. You know, the Ben Ali's. Ben Ali. Ben Ali. You know, the Ben Ali's, the sons of God. And um, we can look into this Ben Ali's here, and it'll tell us there's the third largest ethnic group in the world. You know, there's 300 million of them jammed over in here. The largest ethnic group in South Asia. And legend has it, you know, that this man, the Ben, was the son of Hen, who was the son of Ham, son of Noah. At the same time as Genesis 6 here. And it sits up here north of the Bay of Bengal, right up here by Nepal. That's probably where you were, Nepalese come from. So they'll say the Christians believe that maggots symbolize hope and resurrection. You know, that's the Ben Ali's is the ancient word for Christians. You know, the Ben, the sun gods, Ben Ali's, are a symbol of decay and death. And it tells here, you know, where the, the Ben Ali's come from. And it's it's right here, the American, the American. And you can see that in every which way that this is read with the directional markings. You know, you know the, the Puerto Rican, they say, is the port of the rich. With this tack and this diamond up here, it's actually having you read this as ink, the Incan. You know, the Incans, the Americans were the Incans. And so it said that there was a destruction over here in the land of Mu, you know, and, and the survivors had traveled far west. They were traveling from America west, and they end up in the far east, the Incans. And you can see it in their flag, you know, they're flying the son of Mu. And without the rays, this just means a territory. You know, it's just a territory here, and when it gets its rays, it means it's full-fledged. It's, it's part of the land of Mu. In fly from the Jew verse by mime image, American as arrive of Ben Halem, Ben in the time of Halem, all Ben what had Mu yield, all Ben what had Mu yield will. And that's where your word wild come from, W-I-L-D. And you see when, uh, you know, yield, when they have sons, is yield. But when a Hebrew gives birth, it's a wild. And so, all uh, oh, been what had mu yield, willem, the will to them, to them, willem, the children of mu, the hema, the blood giver, a measure from old man's sea, from the old man's seas, um, from the old man's seas, um, you know, O W L, the owl, the hemma give her a measure from the old mancy, you know, the old, the mancy, the necromancy, they'll say that is black magic, but they'll say necro doesn't mean black. And Mansi doesn't mean magic. They'll say it means love of the dead, you know, necromancy. You know, they'll say that the necro comes from corpse and the mancy comes from a prophecy. You know, but you can see, you know, the the romance, you know, to romance the dead. Or a mancy, you know, being the prophecy from the old prophecy. 
you know, all been what had moo yield Willem blood, the giver a measure from old mancy, from the old prophecy has em. But it's also, you know, from the old man see. The old man sees him. You know, when you've been seized, he's, he's stopped, he's not moving, he's dead. From the old man sees him. I'm pretty sure that's where your word necromancy's coming from. But it's the, the blood to give her a measure, a portion of, from the old of the man see, the, the men before has them and so they say that adam was the first man and some will say well it was the after but no it was the first man adam you know is red and backwards you know the mad is red when your face gets red you're mad and red dye comes from the mad root and so the magus by mime them you know when i picture them if I draw a picture to represent what I'm seeing in Bengali, you know, I mime them, the mime image from a hurricane. The American has arrived of Ben Halem. In all Ben what had Mu yield Willem, the blood, they all blood from children of Mu. In, uh, I did a, a couple movies on the land of Moo, and I left some links in there where I found these writings from this old sea captain. But it's two movies, the myths or the mother of is Moo, it's where your word myth come from, and mother was the mother of all man, the Adam. And I'll leave the link here at the end of this movie. But you know, giants and gnats, you know, very similar words. Somebody got that confused somewhere, but... You know, the Nephilim just means, you know, in the fly from. And then the over here tells the quality of the fly. Nephilim is not a word. It's in fly. In the fly from the juvie. And so it's talking about a maggot. You know, and in the fly from travel would be, you know, to fly. You know, of a Nephilim giant would be a horse fly. So this Nephilim, they say it comes up three times here. And you see that it's spelt different. Here they added an I here. And that's actually because, you know, it reads backwards after this at. And so it's the milli, which is a, a word they say is small milli. But it's also the millions, the, the many. And the milli pan, you know, the many around in film. The many around in film is all that saying. You know, a blueberry's small, but if you fill up the back of the truck, you know, with a milli, a milli pan of them, you know, it's big, but the berry's still small. No such thing as giants. And then you see in numbers again, the last time it comes up, it comes after the man with the tack. But, you know, if you read it without it, it's the ankh, you know, that's the what the Egyptians are carrying around, the ankh, man. And... In fly from when, you know, in the Ankh men in fly from when. And so it's talking about the Egyptian gods that had bird heads and wings. The Ankh men in fly from. And so there is no such thing as Nephilim giants. And that's the biggest clue to tell that somebody doesn't know what they're talking about. Anytime they use the word Nephilim giant, there's no such thing. And I'd be glad to argue this point with any scholars, you know, in the Greek or the Hebrew Bible. But don't try to come arguing your point, carrying this old King James or any other, because I'm going to tell you you're an idiot. And so I'm going to read this one more time in this movie, and then I'll go up and start at the top where it's talk, talking about the war. But in a fly from the Juvers, by mime image, American has arrived Ben Halem Ben Halem in the time in that time Ben Halem all been what had moo yield Willem they was yield the blood of moo but the blood of moo you know this helma of the giver a measure from 
the old man see from the prophecy of the old to talk to the old to talk to the dead from the old man see has them and so these incans over here they were mixing up ayahuasca and talking to the dead and that's where all these prophecies come from you know they brought over the knowledge of dmt so i'm gonna read just the letters of the next movie and, and try to get these first three lines in and then i'll come back and start reading it with the reading direction where it hides a lot more clues in there you know where this keel turns in to kill he chill the killy chill is the leader of a thousand and twenty four you know the chili the chili arc is the commander of the army and so it has different levels of knowledge in here but there's much if you just read the letters in plain english and then you go back with the reading directions and the vowel points and get more information out of it but i'm gonna cut this off here good day